this video, I'm going to give a demonstration of our flagship Pulse DMF device, the P1000 High Intensity Pulse DMF Machine. It's great if you're a chiropractor, a physical therapist, a sports medicine doctor, rehabilitation specialist, or personal trainer, and occupations of that nature, body worker, then you may want to consider looking into Pulse EMF because along with the treatment you provide, it can give you better results. So what exactly is Pulse EMF? Very briefly, it's a modality that has been around uh, since the 1970s in which low frequency electromagnetic fields are used to influence charged molecules that are involved in the body's many systems and functions. If you remember from high school physics, whenever a magnetic field moves through a conductor, it induces movement of charged molecules, i.e. current. As a matter of fact, this is how generators work. You spin a conductor, i.e. coils of copper wire in a magnetic field, and then electricity is induced in those wires. So it's very similar with the body. A nerve signal is basically the rapid movement of sodium and potassium ions down the axon, and when it gets to the muscle, the release of calcium ions. Cell membranes are the covering of your cells, whether it's your liver cell, your lung cell, your intestinal cell, your kidney cell. That membrane has a positive charge on the outside and negative on the inside. It's like a voltage, like a battery that's involved in moving things into and out of the cells. Into would be like nutrients, proteins, hormones, things of that nature. And out would be proteins as well, if your cell is making the proteins, and waste products. So the theory is that in cases of trauma or illness, that potential is weakened and you don't have an efficient movement of things in and out of the cell. If you introduced a magnetic field into the cell, it can potentially strengthen that, get those processes going back to normal, the cell becomes more efficient, and the symptoms improve, and the disease, the illness, uh, wanes. Let's take a closer look at this machine, and I'll give you a demonstration of how it works. Okay, we'll power it up. You can control it with the touch screen or this knob here. This particular model is user-friendly. There's three settings, power level, frequency, and the treatment time. The power level ranges from one to five. The frequency goes from a pre-programmed one to those three, six, and eight. And one to eight hertz, or pulses per second. And then you could adjust the time. It goes up to a max of 15 minutes, which you could, of course, uh, do a second time and third time. I'm just gonna leave it at level one, eight hertz for three minutes. The attachments that come standard with the unit are the large coil here. So that would be good for covering a large area such as your low back, your upper back. And then we have the butterfly unit. You could use these independently in two different areas. Or what I like to do is clasp them together with the Velcro strapped and it clamps on or not clamps on, but it kind of hugs or encircles a joint such as your shoulder joint and your knee joint. And you get it in both directions, the electromagnetic field. An optional item are what's called the paddles. So this is good for using in two different areas. You could use them on either side of the hips. You could do knees. And it also comes with a mat, which I'll show you later. For low back pain, you could put the large coil so that the erector spinae is right in the center of it. And for the glutes, you could do it this way as well. Hamstrings. and calves. The small butterfly loops are really good for joints like your shoulder joint and your knee. They 
clasp around it. You just have a tie here that holds it together. If you have shoulder issues, just place it around your shoulder. So this would be things like frozen shoulder, adhesive capsulitis, rotator cuff strain. Again, we're putting the magnetic fields deep inside that shoulder joint and moving those ions and molecules, increasing the permeability of the cell membranes so they have good oxygen exchange and nutrient exchange. That's what the Pulse DMF does. Now I'll place the butterfly coils around the knee like this for knee treatment. Magnetic fields penetrate deep into the knee joint, so if you have any sprains or strains, including ACL and PCL strains, which are deep inside the knee, uh, electromagnetic waves are able to reach those depths. If you have an MCL sprain, LCL, you can treat those as well, and meniscal tears, uh, electromagnetic waves can go in there and stimulate uh, collagen synthesis. So this is really great for rehabbing knee pain, knee injuries. We have the full body mat set up here. So this would be like general full body treatment, pulse DMF, musculoskeletal, you could change the settings and put it in like a wellness mode, relaxation. Again, we're just bathing the body with these electromagnetic fields that will uh, energize the cells, get them to work better, increase the membrane potential, and a lot of times this could result in a feeling of relaxation, uh, better sleep, and less pain. Okay, just like that. And you can see the body contracting a little bit in these pulses. Okay. How does that feel? Good, in the back. Okay. This is especially good for athletes. Athletes post-event where you've got uh, muscles, have a lot of lactic acid, they can work, you probably have a lot of uh, muscle fiber damage, micro trauma, some low grade inflammation going on. So post event, football, soccer, swimming, what have you, lie down on this for about 15 minutes and you'll be back to normal. Now what about power? Well, there are basically two categories of pulse DMF devices. If you go online and do your research, there's some little ones, handheld ones, we even sell them on our website that are considered low intensity and then there's the bigger ones like this that are higher intensity. So what is basically the difference? Who can get by with the low intensity, cheaper ones, and the higher intensity devices which are more of an investment? People who are in generally good health and want to use Pulse DMF for getting improved sleep or having a sense of wellness can get by with the low intensity Pulse DMF devices on the market such as OMI, Almag, which is another brand that we carry. Magnetic field strength of low intensity Pulse DMF machines is usually expressed in milli tesla, and for high intensity machines, it is expressed in gauss. To give you a frame of reference of magnetic field strength, if you've, been, if you've ever been in an MRI that are used to image internal organs, well, those could be from two to six tesla or 20,000 to 60,000 gauss. 10,000 gauss is equivalent to one tesla. So 10 Gauss is equivalent to one millitesla. A 25 millitesla pulse DMF device, such as the Almag-1, therefore, has a field strength of about 250 Gauss. The P1000 has a range of between 2,600 Gauss to 19,800 Gauss, depending on the attachment that you use and the power level. What you should know is that magnetic field strength greatly dissipates the further you go from the source. So if you want to target something that's deep in your body, i.e. like three or four inches or more, that will give an appreciable uh, effect on the charged molecules in that area. Let's say you're trying to treat a hip, for example, you need to go 
with a high intensity model. Now, electromagnetic fields pass all the way through the body, but as I said, they dissipate greatly. A low intensity system is not gonna have the ability to effect change that deep inside the body. Comparable high intensity pulse DMF machines on the market cost much, much more than our P1000 model. So if you're in the market for getting one for yourself, or for your clinic, click the little circle in the upper right hand corner of your screen and look at the links below this video in the description and you'll be able to get more uh, details on this wonderful device. Thanks for watching.